What is God's wish for our lives? And we're going to focus on those basic aspects of life. In three areas of our lives, which I call the basic wish of God for mankind, for everybody. Um, um, to, so we're going to uh, talk about health issues. We're going to talk about things that will make you do well in your health. Mm -hmm. Educate my audience about how to beat certain um, diseases or certain ailments that we can easily treat. And then also, being also a Christian, I'm going to leverage my experience also to explain why we need to have a prosperous soul. And then lastly, we will talk about any other thing pertaining to life. And that is based on scripture on 3rd John 2. 3rd John 2. And uh, as an introduction, uh, the Apostle John wrote a letter to Gaius, or Gaius, depending on how you say it, a uh, leader of the church. And Gaius or Gaius was a, a person who was referred to as beloved. Uh, he was loved by the Apostle John, compared to one other guy called Diotrephus or Diotrephus, who for want of um, fame or because of pride would not even let the message of John or preached in the church. So when John found Gaius uh, to be somebody who was humble enough, who was willing to uh, basically let known the scriptures or what God wants for his church, because he put his self-interest aside. Mm -hmm. uh, or 3rd John 2, he says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. In other words, John's wish, which is God's wish for your life, is that you prosper in all things and be in health or be very healthy, even as it is well with your soul. In other words, before the three, the two other prosperity items, your soul must have prospered. We could also go to Another scripture in Matthew chapter number 6 and verse 31 to 33. Matthew chapter number 6 and verse 31 to 33. It is a basic thing that God always employ when he wants to bless. He, he ensures that well, you are well with him. You have connected with him. That is the soul part. And then secondly, you are healthy physically. You are fit. And then thirdly, every other thing that you think about three dimensions of God's wish for your well-being. So, um, my point is, the soul is number one. It's assumed when, when John said that, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul already prospers. He is, he is telling us that the soul is number one, uh, the most important thing. In other words, your connection to God comes first before everything else. And that is why I, I alluded to the scripture in Matthew chapter number 6 and verse 31 to 33. It says, Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. In other words, seek first your relationship with God and his righteousness and everything that pertains to that. And then after that, everything else, the physical prosperity, the health, and also the material prosperity, which is the wealth and other things shall be added. So chronologically, um, God puts prosperity of the soul which I refer to as your connection to God as the number one focus that you need to um, look for. 
And then after that, everything else follows. Right. There's also a scripture in 1 Kings chapter number 3, verses 11 to 14. God actually speaking to Solomon after Solomon had prayed to God for wisdom and, and the ability to rule God's people uh, from a point of righteousness, from a point of wisdom. God was surprised. He said that you did not ask for me to bless you in the physical realm first. You did not ask for me to give you all the money, knowing that I, God, can provide you with all the riches that you need, though I know you have a need of those things. But you sought first me. You sought first my relationship. What will please me? How, I will, how, how you would take care of my people? In other words, you have made a connection to me, God, first as your priority. And for that reason, I'm going to lengthen your days. I'm going to give you the benefit of long life. I'm going to give you the benefit of prosperity, which you did not ask. So God puts connection to him as the first before everything else. And that, when people put connection to God first, God ensures that the other things work out. First, prosper in your soul. And second, prosper in your body. Be healthy. We're talking about health education. How, how, you, how you beat certain minor ailments that you could uh, easily take care of. Those things are important to God. And then, lastly, but not the least, prosper in everything else. Everything else, everything else includes your finances, um, prosperity in um, your career. It, it comes under that. Your prosperity in um, uh, your, your socioeconomic status, I should say. Your marriage, should be better your children your friends your status among friends how to have good friends and enjoy friends your social prosperity comes under all others financial prosperity comes under all others economic career advancement and fulfillment comes under all others god expects that you prosper in all those areas but first make sure that your connection with him is on point. Hello. Thank you for watching. God, which is bless you. And please click to subscribe for future videos and click the like button.